Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, the return of Alan Babich has been announced. Predictably, he's fighting on the undercard of Dillian White versus Otto Arlene. Of course, that fight goes down on the 30th of October. And Alan Babich's opponent for that date has also been named and he will be fighting Lucas Brown. Jesus Christ, where do we even start with this one? First and foremost, the level of opponent, in my opinion, is truly shocking. Yeah, Lucas Brown has some name value. Once upon a time, he won the regular WBA heavyweight title. Bloody bloody blah. He was like a decent fringe contender way back in the day, but at this point in time, Lucas Brown is shot to bits, and he's ancient. The man is now 42 years old, and he looks every bit of it. I mean, two years ago, to put it in perspective, Lucas Brown got blown out by David Allen in the third round with a body shot. He got knocked out by Dave Allen in the third round two years ago. The same Dave Allen who got schooled by David Price, of all people. And to make matters worse, in Lucas Brown's previous fight back in April, he got knocked out in Australia by a guy called Paul Gallen. Now, Paul Gallen going into that fight was unbeaten with 10 wins and one draw. But Paul Gallen going into that fight was also the best part of 40 years old. And to make matters even worse, the guy was a former rugby player. Took up boxing in his mid-30s, I believe. And this was the guy who knocked out Lucas Brown in one round in Lucas Brown's last fight. Lucas Brown... He can't hold a shot anymore to body your head. The guy's absolutely shot to bits. He shouldn't be fighting anymore at this level. And I don't rate Alan Babich that highly, but if you're getting knocked out by Paul Gallen, more than likely it's time to hang the gloves up. The guy has absolutely nothing left. And I guarantee you, Alan Babich will go through this guy like a doorway. Ultimately, it's not a competitive fight. You know, it's an easy fight for Alan Babich, and in my opinion, not really a good learning fight. And the worst thing about it, in my opinion, is that this really is just dishonest matchmaking, as far as I'm concerned. You know, at one point in time, Lucas Brown was a bit of a name in the heavyweight division. He, he really got over quite well amongst UK boxing fans on Twitter. A lot of people liked him, a lot of a casual audience, you know, they thought he was a nice guy, uh, a fun fighter to watch, etc. You know, just a tough guy with a big punch who can test somebody. And a lot, I'm sure a lot of casual fans are still going to have that memory of Lucas Brown. But reality is, that Lucas Brown doesn't exist anymore. He's shot to bits. He can't hold a shot. His chin is completely gone. He can't hold a shot to the body. He's done as a fighter. When you're getting knocked out by a part-time boxer in Paul Gallen, a guy who took up boxing in his 30s after playing rugby, there's a big problem. There really is. The guy just doesn't have it anymore. And, you know, it kind of makes you ask the question, how has this fight really been sanctioned? I mean, Lucas Brown, it's clear as day that this guy is a completely shot fighter, like I keep on saying. Did the British Boxing Board of Control look at his last fight with Paul Gallen? It was embarrassing the way he went down. First time he got caught, he was fucked. He was hurt and he was done. And that's Paul Gallen. And now they're scheduling this guy, they're sanctioning this guy to fight a young up-and-comer with amateur pedigree like Alan Babich. A guy who's got a relentless style, who comes forwards, throws a lot of punches. You know, Alan Babich is going to dog walk Lucas Brown. I hope Lucas Brown doesn't get hurt, but reality is he's going to get fucked up. And for me, this fight is completely pointless. All it really is, is a marketing ploy. It's not even a fight, because a fight is only a fight when there's resilience, when there's pushback. There's going to be no pushback in this fight. Lucas Brown is getting squashed. All of this is, is marketing. You know, there's going to be a bit, there's going to be a bit of pre-fight banter between Alan Babich and Lucas Brown. The casuals will get on board. Alan Babich then goes through Lucas Brown like a doorway, and they'll sell the narrative. Oh, Alan Babich knocks out a former WBA heavyweight champion. How, how far can this guy go? We know the narrative, it's already been written. I mean, this really is a poor fight. I guarantee you, 
you'll get more use out of putting Alan Babic in there with someone like Kamil Sakalowski. Yeah, Kamil Sakalowski's got a losing record. It's not as appealing as Lucas Brown's, but the hardcore boxing heads, they know that Lucas, uh, that Kamil Sakalowski will be a much better test for Alan Babic in comparison to Lucas Brown at this stage. We know Sakalowski can go rounds. We know he throws shots back. We know he's in good condition. We know he can take a shot. I'd literally rather see Alan Babic versus Kamil Sakalowski at this stage. And I'm being deadly serious. And by the way, Kamil Sakalowski arguably beat Lucas Brown a couple of years ago and basically got robbed in that fight. So, there you go. It's a really, really poor fight as far as I'm concerned. But it was something I was expecting. I was expecting to see Lucas Brown get dug up one more time for someone like Fabio Wardley or Alan Babich, but it turns out to be Alan Babich. So there you go. As far as I'm concerned, it's a really poor fight. It's a really disappointing fight. I wanted to see Alan Babich in there with somebody who could test him a bit, who could take him rounds. I thought the last fight against Mark Bennett was actually really good matchmaking. Yeah, Mark Bennett couldn't really punch, but he was a big dude, a tall dude, and a guy who could take a punch. You know, he, he was durable. That's the sort of thing Alan Babich needs to learn as a fighter. Not a knockover job in Lucas Brown. He's, he's going to learn absolutely nothing in this fight. He's going to go through Lucas Brown like a doorway. It's that simple. Anyway, share your thoughts below. It's been your guy Delboy. Peace.